Greetings, Web Church and XP partners. It's always so great to be with you guys. Thanks so much for sharing part of your week with me. I want to give you. A, I want to. I want to encourage you out of um, Genesis 1:28 and the Gospel of Matthew. In Genesis 1:28 is when God creates man, and when He creates us, as you well know, He gives us dominion, authority over all the earth. He's made us stewards in the earth, and we are to operate in dominion, authority here in the earth. And what I find interesting about this is I. I I believe with all my heart that dominion authority in the earth starts by having dominion authority over our earthen vessels. You know, God creates us out of the earth, and then he said have dominion authority in the earth. And I think, you know, I think I've shared the story with you about how years ago the Lord came to me when I was crying out and saying, Lord, why aren't we seeing more of the fullness of everything you've given us through the finished work of the cross? And the Lord spoke to me and he said, my people won't operate in true dominion authority in the earth until they're willing to take true dominion responsibility in their own lives. And ever since then, he's been mentoring me in, in, in stewarding the atmosphere of my heart, stewarding the atmosphere of my mind, taking dominion authority over that. And, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. For much of my life, I wrestled with um, irritability and frustration and impatience. And they all kind of went together. When I got frustrated or impatient, I'd get a little irritable. And the Lord really has lovingly corrected me on this, more so in the last year than in my entire 12 and a half years years as a Christian. And I'm so grateful. My prayer recently has been, Holy Spirit, keep me on a short leash. You know, um, uh, every time I start to move away from your character and nature, and I, st I, I, I no longer am stewarding the realms of my heart, the realms of my mind, the realms of my soul, I want you to get my attention and, and help me. And recently I was in a line somewhere, and I was waiting in line, and it was, it, in the natural, it was frustrating. It was taking a really, really long time. There were people in front of me. The person who was at the window that we were all waiting for um, that, need, that we needed to get help from. He was going very slowly. He obviously was having a really bad day. And I was starting to get a little frustrated. And all of a sudden, I caught myself. And I said, nope, I'm going to take authority over this realm. I'm going to have dominion authority over me right now. And, and as I did, I, I, I came into peace. I came into rest. I came into just turning my heart to God and trusting in Him. And I asked the Lord, Lord, why is it we get frustrated. Why is it we get impatient? Um, and he spoke to me immediately because I was watching the two gentlemen in front of me and they were getting more and more impatient and more and more irritated. And I'm giving, I'm giving thanks to God that he's giving me the grace to choose not to do that. It's like, but Lord, why in the past have I? And he has me watching these guys and I realize that they're getting more and more irritated and more and more impatient the longer they have to wait. They're tapping their feet, they're looking at their watches, they're obviously in a hurry and this is obviously taking way longer than they wanted. And the Lord spoke to me, he said, so often we get irritated, we get impatient, we get frustrated because we feel powerless. Like, and he showed me that was what I was starting to do um, before he got my attention and I took authority over the realm of my heart and my mind and my soul. I was starting to feel powerless, like, oh my gosh, I've got things to do, I've got places I need to be, and I'm stuck in this line to get the thing I need. I have to be in this line, but it's taking forever, and I have no choice, and there's only one window open. There's these five windows, but only one is open. And I realized that he was, as always, spot on correct, that we tend to get irritated, we tend to get frustrated, we tend to get impatient when we feel powerless. And so I'm watching these two other guys do this, and the Lord said, but here's the secret. The, 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 the powerlessness is an illusion. It's a lie and temptation and trap of the enemy to pull us into frustration and irritability and, and all of that so that we will come out of our place of power. And he said, you always have power because you always have power over yourself. You're never powerless, but you must exercise your dominion authority, your dominion of power over first your heart and then your mind. And if you can gain the victory there, if you can steward the revival, Bible, the renewal, the reformation, the refreshing there, then you'll see it explode out of you into the earth. And so as opposed to getting irritated and frustrated and impatient, I pressed into the grace of God and I chose to be patient. I chose to be at peace and I chose to rest in him. And in that, I felt incredibly powerful, just stewarding the atmosphere of myself. So by the time it was finally my turn to get up, when I got to the window, I was radiating peace. I was radiating rest. I was radiating grace and I was, grace, and I was able to look through the window and say to the man, 
who was obviously having a bad day and he was irritable himself and that's one of the reasons everything was going so slowly is how are you doing? How's your day going? And he poured his heart out to me and I was able to minister to him. And this is what I want you to see. It's exactly what he shows us in Genesis 1.28. If we are willing to be stewards in the earth, it starts with being stewards of this earth, of our earth and vessels. If we're willing to take dominion responsibility and dominion authority over this realm, then there's nothing that we can't release it into. I was able to maintain and go back into and then maintain a place of peace, a place of rest, a place of grace, a place of stillness. And then I was able to give that away and minister and be a blessing to the man in the window. It's just like in Matthew 8 when the disciples are in the storm and this big storm kicks up and all of a sudden they get freaked out and they come running to Jesus and say, what are you doing sleeping? This big storm's kicked up. We're going to die. This is crazy. Don't you care about us? Come on, man. And Jesus gets up and basically says, why are you guys freaking out? You have so little faith. Why are you afraid? Why are you getting so freaked out? And he speaks to the wind. He speaks to the waves and they're stilled. And the disciples say, whoa, who is this man? That even the wind and the waves, even nature pays attention to what he says. Well, I want you to know who he is. He's the Messiah. He's our Lord. He's our Savior. And he's also our model for what it is to be a son of God walking in the earth. We are to have, a, see, Jesus had authority over this realm. He didn't get up and see the huge waves and the big wind and think, oh my gosh, we're going to die. He got up and thought, okay, I'm, I'm stewarding this realm and now I'm going to steward this realm. And he wanted the disciples to realize that when we have faith, when we are in the place of faith that God is God, that He is large and He's in charge and we're operating in His dominion authority in the earth, no matter what the devil or nature or anything else throws at us, we can be at rest, we can be at peace in the Lord, and then from that place, having stewarded this realm, we can steward this realm. That's exactly what He modeled to us. And I want you to know, in Psalm 46.10, the Lord even shows us a, a, a picture of this when He says, be still and know that I'm God. I want you to know that word be still, it can be translated as forsake or cease. And I believe with all my heart that one of the secrets God is showing us in Psalm 4610 is when everything around us is getting crazy or difficult. God wants us to forsake the response of the flesh, to cease fear, to cease impatience, to cease frustration, to cease irritability, to choose to be still in Him to rest in Him, to know that He is God and He is bigger than any of our circumstances, no matter how big or threatening they might seem. And if we press into Him in that moment and by His grace, steward this realm into a place of rest and a place of peace, then we'll be able to steward this realm. True dominion authority in the earth comes from t uh, exercising true dominion authority in our own lives. So I bless you this week in Jesus' mighty name with an extra measure of grace for an extra measure of peace, an extra measure of stillness, an extra measure of love, and the kindness and the patience and the compassion and the grace that comes with love and in love that you can not only know it yourself, but you can make it known throughout the world.